Yeah, we on live, baby. We, we back. Live. We back. We, we back. back. We back. Yeah, we ready to set it up. Another week, another episode. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? 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 We got what going on? Big T, man. Who we doing? We doing what? Coffee and him conversation. Coffee what? Coffee and him. There we go, man. You know. Yes sir, yes sir, uh, yes sir. Happy to be back with y'all. Another episode. Another episode, man. You know, Get down um, with it, man. We're gonna keep it going. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. Exactly. Is the key. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. What Master P yeah. said, consistency. P we heard Is you, man. The key, baby. Yes, sir. We heard you, yes sir. But yeah, man. So how was your week, man? Man, everything was good, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we uh, went to the MJ Biz. You know what I'm saying? Down in Vegas, met some real good people, man. Oh, Give a shout out to Tree, Omega, Tri I mean, Omega, the guy. You know what I'm saying? Some good musicians. I told you we got to wind up taking uh, entertainers yeah. and, and influencers on this you new pilgrimage. That. We talking about going on positive music and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, we talked about that last yes, episode. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, One of them yeah. episodes, yes. We getting into the episodes, y'all, now. Running with it. Yeah, man, yeah. Yes, sir, so, yes, sir. I so, had a good week, man. Your, your week was good? Yeah, yeah. How did everything yeah. go, man? Did a couple of jobs, you know. Um, traveled a bit, you know, so... Uh, okay. Kind of went around on the other side of Atlanta. Okay. So, you know, had a couple of... Uh, you know, installations that are uh, oh. on the song. Oh, word, word, you word. Know, Just so, to keep yeah. your skills there. Everybody yeah, yeah, got to yeah. have I, like, I like doing the work. So, yeah, know. everybody got them skills. Oh, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> my company. But yeah. Tell that again. One more time. What's the name of the company? Uh, are You Wired. Are You Wired. Are You Wired. Is your ass wired? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, right. Yeah, we specialize in low voltage. Yes, okay. Know, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. let me ask you a question, man. Okay, I mean, you ready to get into this conversation, man? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You know, look, I've been looking forward to this, you know. Man, somebody uh, was somebody was just popping some shit off to me about some coffee, man. I had to go back, and they was asking me stuff. I had to go back to the, you know, I said, man, when I get the next show, let me go back to you. But, you know, see, it was like, the question was asked, what is the origin of coffee? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, actually... I'm glad you asked yeah, that. Come on, man. Well, yeah. Because I am the coffee guy. You that's know right. That's saying? right. So, that's you right. Know, I, I, love the, I love the drink. You know, I love the, you know, the whole everything about coffee. So, you know, um, but yeah, the origins. Um, Actually, coffee can be traced back to the plateaus of ancient Ethiopia. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Africa. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yes. All the way back to Ethiopia. It actually became popular... Uh, through trade routes and kind of branched out, you know, it, it actually was, um, it actually was so, uh, uh adored yeah. that, uh, the, the, the original coffee beans was, had to be snuck out. Oh, kind of like, oh, I know. think that's how Europe got to the trade, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's See, right. you know a little something, you know a little right. something. Yeah. But um, actually, it was during that trade that it actually leaked out in um, kind of northern Africa yeah. and uh, expanded. And that's how it became popular and evolved, you know, to the drink that we have now. Oh, so we always so, drink it in America like that? No, no, no. Absolutely not. They used to eat it. They could eat it, okay? Yeah, originally. Okay. Remember, I, I touched on that last, uh, last... One episode, episode. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, or whatever, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but, um, yeah, they used to eat it, man. It's, uh, actually funny because, uh, originally it was, um, they used to make the animals act funny. So, that's how it was actually discovered. So, there was some donkeys or whatever. <laughs> and they ate the berries off the tree. Yeah. Uh, the bush. And uh and then and then the, they would you know same thing what happens when we drink coffee they got excited and overzealous and it was observed by the herder and then so so on and so forth that kind of um moved on to as you know to today okay 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 that's an industry the I rest guess. is history you know yeah just the one of what from Check some goats. Some, what, second largest? Uh, yeah, it was some goats. It was goats? It was goats. Okay, not donkeys. Not donkeys, it was some goats. Okay, okay, okay. I just recalled the story. But anyways, um, man, it's a source of revenue. You know, coffee has grown exponentially. Okay. It's a multi-billion dollar business. Take it from the coffee guy. You know, this is a hell of a business to be in. Um, 
It is the number two commodity Damn. in the world. That's good. You know, that's good. That's it's great. It's the bro. number seven most traded. Um, that was 2004, actually, statistics. So it probably even more has grown even since then. But you know, they do it every so often. These statistics. Hmm. Um, but I mean, everything has led until it becomes that morning ritual. Yeah, it was me. It was me. Me and me and a good friend of mine. We used to do double yeah. dot thing, get up in the morning. That's it. You yeah. Know? So it's uh, it's 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 led into that everyday routine. You know where you know. I mean, even to, you know to start your day the way you want to start yes. your day. Right. Yeah, a lot of and people like I can't leader. get my day started unless I have my and coffee. Be a leader. You know. Shout out to again my but my brother. Um, Edison Musa. I do like that say. I yeah. was mom in Michigan, but then when I yeah. said be a leader, I'm like, you know, oh yeah, uh, like, I like be that. A leader. You know, this is Edison's. Um, you know, he sent me this to rock. You know what I'm saying? So I'm rocking it for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Excuse the little ash. You know, we smoking coffee and hemp conversation. Well, I, yes, 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 yes. But uh. So that is right. That is like I said. Most people who oh, yeah, don't want to start their day unless they got that. Unless they got let me, that. Let me, let me, Edison, man, all uh, black guy. You know what I'm saying? He uh, started out. You know, he was the guy in DC. You know what I'm saying? That had the um, gear. You know, is that right? Oh, I did. I need mine yeah, then, bro. Yeah. I need but mine now he used to sell, sell other people's gear. Like you oh, know, the I need that. You know, I don't want that. I want to do that right. Started now. his own. You know. Yes. Uh, changed his life. Started his own. I can see so, that, man. Yeah, shout out. Uh, I want to shout out to Graviton Motors, too. I know y'all see me rocking the hat. Uh, you know, this is a... Uh, Couple Graviton there, right? Man, quick. a black inventor, man. We talking about the black Tesla. You got another brother just doing a conversion. Uh, you got the my real man. Tesla. Uh, you got um, two cats. But, I mean, this guy is, um, he's converting, um, you know, gasoline engines into EVs, so your existing vehicle. Um, and he's been doing this for, you know... Um, 10 years plus uh he has uh quite a few businesses and um and uh so i rock the gear because uh you know the guy is uh next level with his whole you know forward strategy and thinking mm -hmm. so shout out brian riley uh you know graviton motors yeah, man. So yeah, we have we have a discussion earlier today, man. And uh, one of one of the female impressions we hope to have on the show, she was basically uh, who you want to give a shout out, the young lady. Who's, who's Tammy. Tammy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's yeah. talking about the having the conversation. I'm yeah. sorry, he caught me off guard. I'm like, Woo, we need to have the special name, guests here before we start shooting them out, but. Tammy, we was talking to Tammy on the phone. Yeah, so see, I was, we was asking her benefit of what you, you know, what's a good topic to talk about, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So we, you know, I try to tell people with different ways about this plant that you can What's talk that, about. Man? You know what I'm saying? Different yeah. things we can talk about with this plant. But yeah. one of them is the oil aspect of it, our CBD. You know what I'm saying? That's well, what, a lot of you guys are familiar with that terminology. Remember, I wanted to, that's the, that's the, what we wanted to discuss, kind of, uh, as our progression, is the medicinable purposes. Yeah, that's only one benefits. aspect. Yeah, that's only yeah. one aspect. I know, that's only one, yeah. but it's like, you know, it's so many things yes. that fall right under that one aspect yes. umbrella. Yes, yes, yes. You like know. I tell people you want to get in the game. Don't, don't look to get into the marijuana aspect of the game, and you can but you got to remember, you're going to be, it's a lot of compliance you got to have. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mm -hmm. things you got to go through, certification, license, all that. Where if you get to a CBD store or you get a vape shop, but you see you sell the CBD, that is a form of medicine. Right? So when people, when the education platforms start coming and everybody start talking about this as being a form of medicine, they're going to be looking to try to get, you know what I'm saying, some good supply of that you medicine. You were telling me off, off camera, you was talking about the, everyone has a, Endo cannabinoid system, yeah. Endo cannabinoid system, and that it's almost like your lymphoid system, your nervous system. Every medicine that ever made had a cannabis base from exactly it. prior to Rockefeller them going in and taking the ministry out Bam. and sent out the medication, bro. You know what I'm saying? Slow down, let's repeat that. Slow the slide to the people, man. Did you hear what he said? Uh, well, earlier, we were talking about Rockefeller coming in and taking over the medical industry and knocking out natural homeopathic cures. Mostly every medicine that we had was cannabis-based because you have something called an endocannabinoid system. We all do. Everybody. Dogs, cats, me. all of them do, man. I got it first. You getting it now. 
So when you get that, what it does is it puts your body back in homeostasis. And probably the last time you had pure cannabinoids in your system was from your mama's breast milk. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So now you got this plant. It makes so much sense now because, you know, they always say the mama's breast milk was the best thing for you and the children that, you know, actually benefited the most. They said it made children smarter. Yeah. You know, they developed quicker. Yes. Uh, more, and then get all these illnesses that you want to see some of these babies be having. I mean, it's a whole bunch to it, but, you know, before we can put those claims out there, you know what I'm saying, they want y'all to, you know, me, don't don't believe anything Coach say, you know what I'm saying, because I have medical doctors that mostly do most of the, you know, the medical aspect of it because they this is what they, that's their field. And like I said, you know, they don't want to hear shit Coach said. They want to hear from a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. So I have like Dr. Newton, Dr. Haas, Dr. Felicia Rashad. It's a whole bunch of doctors out there that's been doing it and been making themselves like available for information and doing events and all that. You know Dr. What I'm Uma, Dr. Uma, my girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know we all doing things and uh, moving the industry. But as far as understanding that it is a way to attach to this, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I tell most people there's no such thing as a recreational vitamin. Either you're getting the benefits from it or you're not. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and then I was even telling them about uh, understanding that most people don't like to smoke Zaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know premium, saying? premium. Yeah, premium. Marijuana. That's if you don't know Zaza, it stands for exotic. You know what I'm saying? Like rapper weed, but we know candy cream, gasoline. You know they what I'm saying? Rapper weed. Yes, yes. It started yeah. from Dro. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you got the shot yeah, bottles, you got the brunch, from that, you, runch, know, you got the cookies, you got, yeah, you know, all the different, yeah, jokes up, all the yeah, different, yeah, you, know, you got them that, that, that understand that, about those Zaza. creams, yeah, and so when we say we smoke, but the best, but you gotta understand, those are what you talk, those are what you call top grade, uh, uh, genetics, yeah, right, yeah, so most people, you know what I'm saying, when you talk about making medicine or making the oil that you're supposed to be getting your medicine from, they use like bottom base, like dirt weed yeah. or cheat weed or yeah. whatever they can make the medicine because you're gonna it's still gonna hit your endocannabinoid system, but just like you have great genetics, that's how you know your medicine will be great if you made it out of greater genetics. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Understood, understood. So so, so it's, it is a difference in product. Well, you, and you, that's why it is important to know where you source your stuff at. Absolutely. So even if you white label and you want to get into business, you want to make sure that you get with good providers. Like I, know, I got some. Well, you know, I like to say monks, but they're basically uh, 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 Mormons that are up in either Mormons or uh, the Am Amish that are up in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm or in Utah, whatever. They they are all growers, and they believe in growing a certain way. So. You know, either to white label your stuff if you're gonna get in it from a, a from an oil perspective, CBD, isolates, uh, whatever it is. Then you want to know the people. So, what do you, what do you recommend? I mean, because if, if there's so many different ways of growing uh, this miracle plant, which one do you recommend it for the, as far as uh, like quality wise? You, quality wise, because I mean, understand it's different. Yeah, you know? I mean, most people still you got something called boutique hemp bud, which they grow it in dough just like they would grow like your top notch marijuana, right? But you know, and I know the best thing that you can ever do to a plant is let the sun touch it, you know what I'm mm. saying? So instead mm. of artificial light. So if you got somebody that's a natural grower and growing exceptional plants, you know what I'm saying? So Which, outside? You think yeah. outside is better it's the best than way. Oh, yes, sir, oh, it is. Okay. You think more potent? Again, you, you're you tricking the plant when you're doing the endo, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. when you got that sun blessing it, it's a whole different experience you're going to have absolutely. with that bud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you just took me there to a field. Of uh, marijuana trees. Come on, man. Some good the, ones. The, Let me tell you, Doc Ray, man. If you don't know Doc Ray, Doc Ray genetics, Go man. <laughs> Doc Ray got the only. Uh, Doc Ray got the only uh, patent. It's two. It's two patents. You got Charlotte's Web. That's for the kids that got the. You know what I'm saying? That be having the seizures. All right, and then you got uh, Doc Ray got a patent for PTSD. Wow. Right? So. All right, but his stuff is growing out those now. One of Doc Ray growers, his name was Zalig. He's one of the best regenerative farmers coming out of Mendocino County, right? But the league, they had some weed, man. I swear, it, it tasted like smoking a rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, so yeah, so I say, That's yeah. That's incredible. I understand. That sounds incredible. Man, for that real. That sounds incredible. Man, shout out to the boys in Mendocino County, look? man. How did it look? Was it a beautiful flower? Oh, man, it was. It was I, I, I'm enamored with the flower. Oh, you yeah. Know? yeah. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think it's a... It's a beautiful plant. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I find myself drawn to it as well. Um, the different colors, the different, you know, genetics. 
Uh, let me ask you this. That brings me to this. Uh, this is actually a really, I'm sure a lot of people want to know about this. Why, why is it like things like Acapulco Gold available anymore? Why isn't chocolate time around? Why isn't it? They are. Oh, really, but, they are. You know, but but you it's, got, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a different form of it. Yeah, now, yeah. You know, some they, people crop breed them or crop plant or whatever. This, this, but it, those are those those are still those are those are. Those are genetics that are always going to be around. It's just who got them, right? So, that, but the, but but because the on the on on the on the scale of uh, uh, of how marijuana grows. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I understand that uh, hemp marijuana, you know, it grows, and once that life span is complete, that particular strain is no longer. It becomes extinct. No. So let me ask you this then: How do? How is it that the strains keep evolving? If those, you know, like for example, you can't find Kush anymore. You can. You can't find really like purple haze. You can. I mean, but like you said, it's it's very. You got those real genetics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? exactly. And it's, only, it's a few. You gonna like hear a lot of people say they got it. Yeah, and then you get a lot yeah. of clones. You get a lot of this and that. That's okay. my point. It's a lot uh, of clones available. Yeah, I mean, you got people. You know, uh, what was it um, Devil Dinet? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe, uh, coming in the game, man. Like when I went to the when I was going to the first uh, what they call the. Um, High time cannabis cups, man. Then they start having them up in Denver. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was meeting a whole bunch of, you know, like people who actually don't provide genetics. But then you learn that genetic game, man. That you know, it's really just a few. Uh, it's only a few really uh, 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 strand that everybody else just picked off. And, right. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it still go back to those same. I think it's eight or something. It's a small do number you, that do, they do, can do trace you know, everything do you know back. Any of them? Uh, the people who probably have them, my access to them, or even the people who you know are, are on not the people. What what are the original strains? Can you I don't know. It's like a I don't know, bro. That, that, I'm not the grower. I okay. can't. That's okay. not my lane. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But uh, if somebody was to come in and tell me what it was, I tell I can agree because I heard the information, but Before. I can't digest it the way it goes. But you know, it's a lot of growers out there tell you that it's only really a, a, a true few. And everything else snatched out for those, and they the, mix this, that, and mix that, this, and this, and that. But those same pheno plants, those so few, they know what they are. You know what I'm saying? Everything kicked out those. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But like we talk about, like we were strand hunting one time. I tell you about strand hunting, man. We went looking for that. Uh, what is strand hunting? You know, going looking for specific strands. Uh, we was on the THC run at first, like trying to find the best THC. Okay. And so we was looking at the African. What was it? No, Alaska Thunderfuck. And uh, and uh, to Maui Waui, and uh, you know what I'm saying. And, but you know, we came with when I start understanding terps and understanding yeah, profiles okay. and entourage effect mm -hmm. because one of the best weeds we came across was the Malawi gold, right? Now, Malawi gold is only at 14 and 15, 14 to 17 percent. How does it go? But because of the entourage effect, and we call it the elephant tranquilizer. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker had you out like a motherfucker in really? Zaza land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Is it Malawi or Maui? Malawi. Malawi. Yeah, Malawi. coming from Africa. You can go yeah. pick it up on the side of on the side of Malawi in the road, wow. side of the road. Wow. To grow so it grows wild. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, some of the best shit though. You know, so so I'm into more terps now, profiles, you know what I'm saying? Uh some flavors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, the yeah, 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 me too. Mm -hmm. That's that's Kind of what I'm into the um, different the flavor and the drive. Uh, okay. uh, cut that the out. Flavor, yeah, yeah. Cut that out. It's all good. Flavor and the drive, you know. Um. So, so you know, I'm gonna tell you, man. If people get into this industry and they start talking about, you know, like uh, understanding that cannabis and hemp is really you can divide them, but medically, you know what I'm saying, it's really the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, ain't no such thing as a recreational vitamin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to benefit the, uh, to it or not. What's that uh, term you, you always tell me? You say it's an uh, endo... Endo... In the couch? Endo, nah. Huh. Endo... Cannabinoid... Endo cannabinoid system? Can, endo... Is that what it is? Huh. Endo cannabinoid... Yeah. yeah endo cannabinoid system. That's okay. your that's your system. That the picture. That's what you're talking about with the doctor, right? Yes. So so in the doctor system, I tell you, when they wind up, Rockefeller came and he he basically banged against the 
the the, the natural system before you know before they came he came and took over and found out that petroleum can make medicine. Yeah. So he's trying to take over the industry. So he had to, you know, uh, get natural medicine out of it. So, you know, he took a dude, sent around, came up with this, or their own report, you know what I'm saying? Started giving these schools money and started, you know, it was an attack against natural farms, uh, natural, what I call, uh, 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 pharma, pharma uh, uh, basically warred against natural home, home, homo, what is it? Homolistic. Home, whatever it is, uh, home, 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 efficacy. Yeah, medicine. Yeah, efficacy yeah. treatment of, but yeah, but all that to say, man, it was a war, man, and natural medicine lost. But it didn't. If you that's what you, you want to get back to health, you want to mm. get back to, and that's where we at with this right now. A lot of people get relieved by just getting up, smoking a blunt instead of getting that's some true, medication. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, um, speaking of which, you know, it's kind of one of those things that uh, helped me. Um, in in my whole process of you know my new reality yes, living, sure. living uh, as a single father, widow, widower, whatever they call a man of the situation, mm -hmm. you know, um, having to deal with you know the loss of my son, man, my namesake, you know, my junior, yes, sir. and uh. And just, you know, I, I, I created this business, man, you know, Coffee and Nature, mm -hmm. and dedication to them. And I became that coffee guy because uh, of our our shared love, Mary and I, my, my son's mom. Um, what are some of the things, that, like, you know, how do you support that organization? How do you support your know, man? Uh... Different things. Um, doing this right now, making people aware of their names, Atif and Mary, and then I um, I uh, have sponsored some events for my my children mm -hmm. um, with like the Beltline um, projects. Our projects. Uh, Beltline uh, cosplay. Shout out Beltline cosplay. Some of the greatest individuals you can meet um, who dedicate their time going around making people happy. Uh, they are actually a, um, I can't say fringe group, but they, 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 they're cosplayers, so they, they literally... they car players. Cosplayers, man. They get, up, they, they get up and get dressed like the characters that we love, like Spider-Man, Superman, Wonder Woman. Oh, and okay, they, Cosby. And they, I mean, but they're so serious about it, and, mm. and, and I, 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 I took a, a dive into their world a little bit, and, uh... And it's it's incredible. These are incredible individuals, highly intelligent. You talking about all walks of life, computer engineers, and, okay, word, word. and uh, you know, teachers. Well, now you saying they dress up like Spider Man? They just it's like to get together, do flips. They do it all, man. Uh, I mean, okay. the guy was the guy, the Spider, the the, the Spider Men that I I say men because it was like the multiverse. Yeah. They were incredible, and I, I do actually have the the. Um, uh, upcoming documentary. Not, 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 I hope I just ain't homophobic or nothing like that. What I'm gonna say, but I'm saying I kind of like my homeboy. Kind of like uh, 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 got me to go down. He didn't tell me where it was, but they wanted me to come cook this little event. But it wound up being with these drag queen we give oh, the show, right? Oh, they Yo, I ain't, I'm gonna <laughs> shout out to the drag queen, man. Real talk, man, because they gave a real <laughs> show. <laughs> I, I I didn't stay for the whole thing because that was my name. But I, what I saw. I had to get to them, like, man, they went all out. Oh, they, they, bro, they were giving, oh, it, wasn't, shit. it wasn't that they were dressed up, but it's oh, like, man. they were really performing, No, nah, this ain't bro. nothing like that. This is they like They were really this. performing, bro. So, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? But my boy didn't tell me where he was going. He was just like, man, because I want you to come and cook at this spot. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, <laughs> I said, man, let me go down here and check it out, man. You know? <laughs> oh, he got you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 hey, they got him. <laughs> they it was too late. It was too late. Oh. So I had to pay my respect. Oh, like I said, man. I'm, like, like, I'm gonna get my man. Uh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get my man Leo. Leo, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Leo the barber. He you know what I'm talking about. Oh. But Leo always said, "If you're confident in yourself, you're confident in yourself." Yeah. So you know, I'm man. confident in myself, man. I'm like, damn, why? 
Like, they were coming up in there. He they bullied were, you in the coming. But they were, hey, these niggas were big, like, bigger than me. They, I'm like, they bullied you in the coming in there. Like, hey, 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 nah, 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 nah. Hey, 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 you confident nah, yourself. Nah, Don't I, worry I, about it. Nah, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't blast my uh, man like that. It really was about a job opportunity for the cook. It's all good, man. Boy. This is but funny, But I'm going to tell you, boy. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell you, my nigga. Like I said, that, like I said, from what I did it. see, yo, uh -huh. I had to give him a shout out. Like, yo, y'all take y'all craft serious. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'll pay for a show, go to a show, anything like that. But I really have to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all took that craft for real. You know what I'm saying? They were some real performers in there, man. You know what I'm saying? So I do want to give a shout out to, you know what I'm saying, them, uh, them, uh, them shout out ready to perform it. So uh, he, she, whatever you're acting in, bro, I get you. I made my, uh, my kids' day. You know, um, <laughs> Bellline. Bellline cosplay, man. They, well, that's how we they, got into the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they made my kids' day, man. Like, you yeah. know, um, and they make a lot of kids' days with their, you know, gleeful, joyful. Well, sales. I hope they, we're going to do, we're going to do something called a, uh, a hundred patient march, man. Hopefully I'm working with a couple of reps and a couple of other people who are going to put some things together. And uh, we are trying, well, not that we're trying to get a million people, we're, we're calling it a million patient march, but not that we're trying to get a million people to actually march. What we want to do is make sure that we're able to uh, inform or get enough information to at least a million patients mm -hmm. about, you know what I'm saying, what hemp can, or, or, or you know what I'm saying, how, 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 do you, how do you reach them? I mean, I, I, we're, well, we're going to start a campaign. So okay. um, you'll see me, because uh, I'm you know partaking in hemp right now, I don't like mentioning, you know, uh, state reps that I'm working with. Or whatever, still, but, I'm you know what I'm saying, if you, uh, if you reach out to us, we'll let y'all know some of the things we're doing, especially with the patients, you know what I'm saying, uh, organizations that we're trying to hit, you know what I'm saying, like the sickle cell, multiple sclerosis, Crohn's, you know what I'm saying, anything dealing with manage, pain management. Man, you know that was saying? a good cup of coffee right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last cup was an excellent cup, you're right, bro. Man, I make I, oh, I make my own creamers too. So. Uh oh, uh oh, he's been trying to hit me with the <laughs> mint, but I ain't so, I don't mint me, boy. You know it's the uh, time of the season where we just got old pumpkin spice, but everything Ooh. is mint right now. So I made my own mint, my, my own mint creamer. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I must admit that uh, uh oh, he said I must incredible. admit <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. But you know, like again, that's one of the aspects of my business, uh, coffee and nature. I want right. to bring the um, the best of coffee to you guys one day. You know, I want to want you guys to look up on that shelf and see okay. the best that coffee has to offer with the health, no mold, no. I mean, great coffee beans, hand selected. You know, I, I, that's 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 my goal. That's what I want to bring. And then, like I said, if you research what we do, man, like I said, you know, check out uh, Coach Harris, Coach uh, Michael, Coach Harris. You know what I'm saying? Him. Yeah, you know, you'll find a lot of stuff that we did. You did at the state capitol, uh, you know, lobbying or you know, the just doing events throughout man. the throughout the United States, not just Georgia. The man don't just talk the talk; he walk the walk. He's literally on the state capitol steps. But, you know, but we with got the state senators, legislators, the legislators, governors. The, you know, I mean, well, we didn't take the move the agenda, man. But it's, again. Uh, how can you help my business out? If you're dealing with hemp and you really want to start getting involved with it, this is the time. I'm honestly, before I tell people, don't really join my organization because it was a lot of stuff not to do. But now it's a lot of things that are coming into play that I'm going to say, you know, reach out to Georgia Hemp Association. Dot org. Dot org. And this is the time, like uh, Pharrell said, time to start teaming up and understanding the people who you want to move forward with. Uh, you have to create a good social currency with them and join organizations that they're a part of. So two of the organizations that I'm a part of is uh, Minorities for Medical Marijuana. I'm the Georgia chapter president, and I say if you're involved with the marijuana, I want to get involved with that. You got to have a good network of people that can help you, you know, really understand the real players that are in the industry. And number two, uh, if you're into hemp, Georgia Hemp Association, especially in Georgia, uh, it's an infrastructure that we're basically trying to build here. Uh, right now, I'm telling you, if you want to get involved with it, get involved with the infrastructure being built from the ground up, and that's where we're at right now, man. So you know, we're this just is a, it's an evolution of, going on with the whole movement. You're talking about a a a a a a a, a green wave. A green wave. You the heard it, man. You heard the Black Rock, um, man. I mean, it's a uh, it's <laughs> it's no slowing down. I mean, it's it's constantly people that's going to be negative. However, we're looking at. Uh, Fat pass. I mean, even in the down slot of the, 
economy. Come on, hip is hip is, is the number growing. fastest, it's it's number growing. five, it's and the growing. fastest growing. It's growing. So you know, you know what I'm saying. We were just talking about the oil benefits. This one, that was it. That's the oil aspect of. It. We ain't get into the industrial purpose, the textiles, we'll the talk plastics. About that one the, in the next episode. You know what I'm saying we ain't get into none of that we'll yet. Talk about that next. Uh, yeah, so uh, we talked about Rockefeller coming in, monopolizing modern medicine. You know what I'm saying? War yeah. on on homopathic cure. That's the word I was looking at. Homopathic cure. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what we were doing before. So that's the crazy thing about the whole subject of hemp is so it's so wide. It's um I mean, it's the conversation. This is going to continue. And uh hopefully you guys will stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. And if uh, you want to get into white labeling, you want to know where you source where you sourcing the best uh, medicine, let me know, man, cuz I, I I deal with cats that they formulate, they put stuff together. They don't mind sharing. They just trying to build a network where everybody can eat. So, you know, again, let's eat. And with that, see you next time. See you next time, good dog.